And hey guys, welcome to Sango City update for the month of February of 2022 for today. Thank you for joining with us for the second part of the brand new new year. Uh, just last month, we were introducing lots of new stuff and introducing a brand new new year in the Sango City and Lego City area for today. Uh, the last video did get a lot of views, the last Sango City update. So thank you guys so very much for getting those views up uh, right there. We're going to be doing another update and uh, thanks for the comments and uh, the suggestions of how to make my videos a little bit better from that last uh, Sango City update update but yeah guys thank you for joining with us for this month of february of 2022 we'll be introducing uh brand new changes at the local legotopia capital for this uh month's update um the local legotopia capital has been remodeled uh, for the sango city area for today uh, i added the colors of blue um mostly baby blue and some other some darker colors as well um to me it looks a whole lot better than it did last time eventually i'm going to change the whole building into just a blue uh, type of capital building the half of it is still a little bit uh, white i did add some smaller blue pieces on the bottom of it as well but uh, the main structure itself is done um, it does light up as well which i'll show that here in a sec uh, very very soon once when we get to that back part of the city area as well uh, but anyways, uh, looking absolutely awesome for the month of February in the Lego Tobia Capital Park. That's uh, one of the highlight for this month's update as well. Uh, some new changes will be coming around uh, the San Jose City area. Some small changes. Most of the city area is basically complete, but big changes at the Lego Tobia Capital Park. If you see right in that corner, I added a new part of the park right over there, which we'll be getting over there here in a sec, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but yeah, overall looking really, really good for the Sango City area for this month as well. Um, and then moving on to the local Sango City Mount I Stadium, um, getting ready for Super Bowl number eight, which is already fully decorated at the local Sango City Mount I Stadium with the colors of red and black for today. Um, as you can see, I did use paper, um, so I did not have the supplies to do uh, too much of Lego red Lego bricks, but I did add some uh, smaller uh, types of Lego bricks and stuff at the entrance of today's Super or the local Super Bowl, which is coming up this weekend. So stay tuned for that. This is kind of a spoiler a little bit of the Super Bowl of what's going to look like, but uh, it's kind of an introduction of what it's going to look like as well. So just stay tuned. Um, the whole stadium is crowded. I added a whole lot more minifigures on both sides of the stand as well. And then the local Super Bowl halftime show will be taking place here in the uh, main uh, football field itself so stay tuned um i also added this brand new um it is paper it's just representing the nfl logo right there as well um so looking absolutely awesome right there for this month of february 2022 um overall hey guys welcome back sorry about the interruption right there um, but moving on to this part of the city um this is the super bowl tailgate party area of the city which is coming up this friday so stay tuned for that event coming up on the lego topia president channel so uh, stay tuned for that once again but uh, this is kind of like outside of the stadium representing like just the hypeness of the super bowl that will be coming on saturday of uh, february 5th 2022 so stay tuned and uh, once again it will be the elephants versus the raccoons um, so once again i'll be introducing brand new half time show uh, including maniskin and the rolling stones so stay tuned for that um, which i'll show a little bit of the um, the stage itself that i'll be introducing on the upcoming concert uh, which i did design uh, just for the concert which will be coming up this saturday uh, representing maniskin these are kind of the characters and stuff or uh, the singer and stuff from maniskin and then the custom rolling stones characters as well or people joining with us on saturday so stay tuned for that but yeah looking absolutely awesome in the sango city area for the month of february of 2022 we'll be introducing more smaller updates throughout the sango city area for the month of uh, march of 2022 2022 as well uh, probably won't be as big of updates on uh, march uh, because uh, not a lot of new stuff will be coming during the month of february but you never know i might be updating some smaller parts of like disney or other places around the uh, sango city area including harry potter land or star wars or something so i'm actually thinking about adding new stuff at the star wars land so stay tuned for that as well um and then we got some new updates at the local jurassic world which did open finally i did not open it once when it opened for the first time which was like a year ago when i finally completed this area um but i'm finally doing shows and stuff uh, excuse me at the local uh jurassic world area jurassic park area 
I'm still kind of coming up with a name. I think I'm just going to call it the Jurassic World area since most of it's all the Jurassic World uh, types of Legos uh, from the movie itself. But I uh, did add some new types of uh, Jurassic World stuff um, to the Jurassic World or Jurassic Park area for this month as well. Um, I added a brand new skeleton T-Rex as like the centerpiece of the um, overall Jurassic World area as well. Uh, so yeah, looking absolutely awesome for the Jurassic World. Got some new characters or new uh, uh, dinosaurs as well for the park as well uh, for the upcoming uh, shows that will be coming up for the month of February of 2022, uh, which I'll be introducing two more shows of the Jurassic World uh, series itself. So stay tuned. I'm very excited to introduce those. The uh, grand opening day of the Jurassic World area show uh, did get a pretty good amount of views. So hopefully you guys are staying tuned for those as well for the month of February and into March of 2022. Uh, but it is still winter time in the San Diego City area. Still got some of the winter minifigures out just roaming around as you can see um, at the entrance of the San Jose City area uh, for today um, overall. Um, looking absolutely awesome. Got a new light bulb in the background for today, making it like a sunset type of look. Um, just to add some color in the background as well. Um, but yeah, looking really, really good overall for this month's update. Um, still looking good at Disney Adventure Park overall. I don't think any other new updates have come to uh, the park for this month. I did introduce the Winnie the Pooh and stuff from last month, uh, from last month's update as well. Uh, but yeah, looking absolutely awesome. Uh, did add a little bit of smaller stuff at the Star Wars land. I am looking to tear down this building right here since it kind of obstructs the view of the Darth Vader castle and, rare, and just adding some, maybe some s smaller buildings like the Tatooine building right there representing the Luke Skywalker building right there or the house that he was living in as well. Uh, just to take that down, those ones over there are fine. Eventually, I'll take those down and just add something else over there as well. But they seem pretty Star wars E over there, I guess uh, you could say. But um, overall, I just want to try to introduce this Darth Vader castle a little bit more uh, when I do the Star Wars shows, which we do have one Star Wars show coming up for this month, uh, which will be the Star Wars Land Galactic Spectacular, I believe it's called. So stay tuned for that for the upcoming show. Uh, but one... A small update for this month is I did get the Mandalorian minifig, which I did not have, um, and I was able to get at the local store, grocery store that I uh, live by, and I was able to pick that up, and I finally found my baby Yoda, which my baby Yoda did, I believe, fall down somewhere down here, but I did find it and put it on, and I did put on on top of the um, statue of baby Yoda itself. So looking absolutely awesome for the month of February of 2022. Uh, so stay tuned uh, for more updates over there as well for the month of February 2022. Um, but yeah, overall, Harry Potter land's looking good. I don't think I have any new changes there as well uh, for the month, uh, for this month. So, um, but yeah, there's a nice view of the whole Lego layout, which is getting overcrowded, unfortunately. Well, I guess that's a kind of good thing, but um, overall, there's a lot of stuff to look at. Um, throughout the whole city layout itself so um, but yeah it's good to have all these collections and stuff to uh, view and do shows that for for you guys on YouTube uh, but yeah looking really really good throughout the San Jose City area and then here is the Lego Topia Capital Park which I did remodel all over here with some custom parts um, I added this brand new statue as you can see uh, orange Lego minifigure statue with a nice little like uh, water feature pond which I was talking about on the last update that I was going to add something like that over here um, so I added something similar over here uh, just like that uh, just to add some greenery and stuff over here as well um, and just to make the park um, a little bit bigger as well so uh, looking really really good for the month of February 2022 um, for a uh, later update for probably later this year or maybe coming up very very soon I don't know I don't know maybe next year I'll be introducing maybe adding some more um, tiles and stuff like those uh, flat tiles to represent concrete um, and just putting flat tiles all along uh, this path right here uh, throughout there just kind of like those over there uh, but more just tiles like that um, all throughout over here just you, just so you can see the um, park a little bit better you'll uh, make the park stand out a little bit better as well uh, for the Lego Tobia Capital Park. So the park's looking good. It's the only basic 
park, I guess you could say, in the San Jose area. Um, and then I'll try to turn these lights on. Uh, I think they turn on a little bit differently. Uh, but yeah, they do. I did add some a little bit of some light features on the Legotopia Capital itself. I believe the colors are um, kind of like a wintry white or just like cool white um, on the Legotopia Capital um, itself. But yeah, looking really, really good um, throughout the Legotopia Capital. There's my Lego minifigure right there as well. Uh, looking good for this month's update. And uh, yeah, looking wintry in the San Jose City Mountain area. So got all the animals and stuff. Um, I am introducing more of the animals throughout the San Jose City area. Uh, just for some other events as well um, and then kind of messy over here right now um, just got done with the brand new ski racing um, event uh, that I did introduce um, if you guys are interested in watching the Olympics I did do a little bit of like Olympic reference uh, to those videos and also added uh, my only Lego Looney Tunes minifigures uh, throughout the ski resort which are still here from from that um, little ski event that I did do. Um, so stay tuned. That was a very cool event to introduce for the month. And sorry about the interruption right there. Once again, having a little bit of issues with my camera for today. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much concluding today's update. I was going over this place. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much concluding today's update. And for this month's update of February of 2022. Thank you guys so very much for watching uh, your San Jose City update, updates. Uh, please stay tuned. Uh, lots of new changes, as always, are coming to the San Jose City area. Got the brand new Super Bowl 8 coming up very, very soon. So stay tuned for that on the local LEGO Toby. Uh, website itself on youtube channel or youtube.com for today and uh, thank you guys so very much for watching please like subscribe and comment uh, lego tobia president signing out for today guys and remember you will always be a legoan